Hey you guys, so I'm getting ready to post this video, but I just wanted to say really quick that the app that I use to track my net carbs is called Carb Manager. I'll try to find somewhere to link it down below, but if not, it's in the App Store on iPhone or in Google Play as Carb Manager. And um, I didn't show, like with these meals that I'm going to show you, I didn't put it up on the screen when I made them just because I didn't have time to do that. If you like when I do that, let me know. Um, but I just had a couple people ask me how I'm tracking my carbs and it's through Carb Manager, that app. So that being said, let's get into the video. Hey, good morning everybody. So I'm going to have my coffee and I did switch it up just recently. Um, so I basically will do a cup of coffee and I, I do have this medium roast. They ran out of blonde roast again. At the Smith's I was at, so I had to get a medium roast. So one cup of that, um, one tablespoon of this sugar-free peppermint mocha coffee mate. It's really, really good. But you do have to be careful with this because one um, teaspoon, or sorry, one tablespoon is actually two grams of carbs. So if you put a little too much, you will overload on carbs. So I just do one just for the flavor. Um, one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and then half a tablespoon of this Hershey's cacao unsweetened and a tablespoon of this Swerve sweetener. Oh, and I don't have it pictured here, but a half a cup of almond milk and that's basically my coffee concoction that I'm currently loving. So I'm gonna mix it up in my little blender and put it in my coffee cup and good to go. Yummy, it's like a peppermint mocha. That cream on top is from the heavy cream, so I know it looks funky, but it tastes really good. All right, I'm going to get some groceries because uh, I don't have enough stuff in there to make some good meals today and the rest of the week. Where's my drink? Oh, I left my coffee in the house. Do I wanna go get it? Yeah, I need to go get it. Okay, secured the coffee, hella good. By the way, you should try this little recipe I have, or new recipe I made. Um, anyway, so my little man is pretty sick, so we're not going to do anything or go anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to go get some groceries and get some stuff to make for today. So let's go. Oh, also I wanted to say that your girl gained two pounds. Um, I have not stayed on track, so... A big reason why I'm doing this video is to for accountability because, look, the chin is starting to get fatter again. Um, so, yeah, I gained two pounds back because I was not being full keto and just basically eating whatever frick I wanted. So, I really want to get back on track so I can continue to lose some more weight and get back to a healthy size. So, yeah, just so you guys know. That last video I made since then I've gained two pounds and I want to lose those two pounds and lose some freaking more okay I just wanted to show you really quick what I got um, this is all keto friendly there is bread back there and stuff that I got for my kids because they can't only be keto so I got some pork chops some pre-seasoned chicken some just regular chicken breast got some queso fresco that's for tacos I got some chorizo um, black forest ham These carb balanced street tacos look so good. So I really want to use these to make tacos. That's why I got this um, And then I got some cream cheese cream cheese is basically a must when you're on keto It's kind of like a staple that you always need to have so I got some of the Philadelphia the really good kind and then I just got the store brand because I'm gonna make a dip which I'll show you um, with this um, Jimmy Dean sausage eggs are a must as well got some cooked shrimp and bacon I don't always buy bacon I'm not a huge bacon fan but my kids do like it so I bought some I always have an Italian blend salad on hand I got some of these steamable veggies um, some coconut oil to cook with and this young corn so there's not very many carbs in here um, it says six grams of carbs per half a cup and there's two servings I'm actually going to use this to make keto tamales which I saw online so I'll show you how that goes um some crisco that goes for the tamales uh bank energy drink I only got one because I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to caffeine so one like it's hard for me to even finish one so I usually split this like with my sister or something um and then 
Heavy whipping cream is also a staple to have when you're on low carb keto. Uh, just some butter to cook with. And then my all time favorite Swerve Ultimate Replacement Sugar. And these were on sale for like five something. These can be as high as like $8 for this small little thing. It's 12 ounces. But right now at Winco, they were on sale for like $5.98. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. So the rest of this stuff is just the kids' stuff. But this is my little keto grocery haul right here. This is a queso dip I like to make and I use pork rinds to dip it in. So uh, you get one of these nice and cheesy original. You, this is the knockoff brand. You can get the Velveeta one if you want, but I'm cheap like that. So this is the block that I get. I only used about one third of it though, um, cause it's all gone. But I used one third and then one third of a block of cream cheese. Since it's just gonna be really just me eating this, I did make up the whole Jimmy Dean um, tube sausage, but I'm only gonna put about half of that in here. I got my meat in there, and then I have this can of Rotel Mild, and I am gonna use the whole thing. It might be a little much, um, because usually I use more cheese than this, but it's okay. You can make this however you want it. I'm gonna put it in my carb manager, um, and I will show you the macros. And I'm just gonna put that on low and let it sit, well let me find my lid, but I'll let it sit. Usually it takes about an hour, good hour to get it all nice and cheesy and I'll mix it here and there. All right y'all, <clears throat> this is my lunch. So I'm gonna have a taco using one of those Mission Tacos. It's three grams of carb for this um, tortilla. That's what I meant to say, not taco. I have some chicken that I was, it was already pre-seasoned right here. I have some of that queso fresco that I just chopped up. And I make my chicken in um, my Instapot, and it makes such a difference. If you guys have one, it's really so great. It makes it quick. The meat is tender. So good. I have some of my dip here. I would say like half a cup of that and some pork rinds. I just buy a big thing of pork rinds from Sam's Club. Hella good. I'm telling you. So this is my lunch right here. Good morning. So this is my breakfast. Um, just the so leftover sausage from that dip I made. I just cooked it up with a couple eggs and then I do have my coffee. Yeah. Um, that is breakfast. Hey, good morning. So I didn't finish vlogging last night because I ended up just going to sleep. I had one more thing which I'm going to remake today and show you what it was. It was a dessert. Um, but on that cheese dip you do got to be careful because it had a lot more carbs than I thought um, that block of cheese has a lot more carbs than I thought originally thought it had I should have checked that um, so yeah that ended up being a lot more carbs than I wanted so I might have to find an alternative like cheese for that one to keep that recipe um, I checked the scale this morning and I was back down to where I was in my last video on my weight which I will weigh in in the morning tomorrow and uh, show that at the end of this video so kind of pointless I know I haven't been losing more weight I'm losing weight to get back to where I freaking was like a few weeks ago but I do like showing you what I eat just for people who are starting um, every recipe I get I get it from other people off Instagram and stuff like that so these are not like recipes I come up with I'm following other Instagram or like keto Instagrammers and using their recipes as my own so I will try my best to put everything that I make down in the description box, but yeah, we're going to church now and I'll show you what we eat when we get home. Okay, it's dinner time. So I am just frying two of these Car Balance Street Tacos. They're three net carbs per tortilla. So I'm frying two of those in some of this coconut oil that you saw in my little haul. And I'm going to make tacos. All right, so these are nice and fried and crispy. And um, I have some guacamole that I made with basically just avocado and like a tablespoon of mayo. So I put that on the bottom and have my meat here. I have some steak. My mom shared her steak with me today. So I just cut it up into strips. So I'm gonna have a steak taco and then a chicken taco. And this is the chicken that I had left over from yesterday. And yes, I'm using my hands because I'm eating this, so. And then I still have my some cheese. There we go. Sprinkle that on top. Doesn't have to be pretty. And then 
I'm gonna have a side of salad with some ranch. Okay, lunch, or lunch, dinner is served. I have like a couple tablespoons of my Lighthouse Ranch. And I have my drink here, which is a Diet Dr. Pepper. It's like the best of the diets. I love Diet Dr. Pepper. So this is my dinner and I'm pretty much done for the day. <sighs> All right, everybody, those tacos were, bomb is like not even a good enough word for how good those tacos were. They were bomb. Um, so I'm actually going to be done for the day. Um, I'm not going to make those desserts because I just don't want to eat anything else. It's about six o'clock or five o'clock right now. So I will just have to make them in another video. And I have a lot of things that I want to try. So like those, and then, um, I found a recipe for keto tamales. When I make all of those things, I will definitely make a video on it. Um, so that's where this video is going to end for today. And then I'll obviously I will show you my way in for tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.